Hey guys and welcome to another episode. Today I'm going to show you how to clean wheels on a car when they're mounted on a vehicle. Now in my last video if you guys noticed, the wheels that I detailed for that Lexus, I took them off the car. That way you can get access to the spokes on the back side and you can also get access to the barrel of the wheel. Now you can do a very good job at cleaning the wheels when they're mounted on the vehicle but it just takes a little bit more time and effort. I'm using the exact same products as I used before as I am now in this video. So I'm using right here Meguiar's wheel brightener. It's diluted four to one. I'm using Meguiar's wheel and tire cleaner. In this bucket I've got an arrangement of different brushes and everything that I can clean up and agitate all the brake dust that's on the wheel. Now for some of them I've got a brush like this and this that's going to get access to the inside part of the wheel, so the barrel. I've got some brushes like this, the paintbrush right here that I can access and clean off the face of the wheel. And then I've got an actual makeup brush just like this. It's horsehair and I'm going to be using this to clean out the lug nut area. Now most of these brushes are going to be a little bit difficult to get inside that little lug nut area. So if you have a small brush like this, it'll do a great job at cleaning it all out. So to get started to clean this wheel, I'm going to first spray it down with water and then I'm going to be using the brake dust cleaner right here, the Meguiar's wheel brightener, to clean up and agitate all the brake dust. So spray it down, get it all wet. Now make sure when you're doing this you get the barrel and the brake caliper back here too. So spray it all down, then get your wheel brightener. And don't be scared, go liberal with this stuff. On its own, it should already start <coughs> to break down um, the brake dust on the wheel. Now when you get the brush, all it's going to do is can make that brake dust come off that much easier. So grab one of your brushes, get the wheel brightener again, spray it in the brush, just like that. And then go ahead and do a once over of the entire wheel. Now if you've got any uh, very intricate areas, kind of like these bolts right here, because this is a three piece wheel, just spend a little bit more time in that area and get rid of all the brake dust in there. Now whatever you do, you don't want to do this on a hot wheel and you don't want to let the cleaner sit and evaporate on the rim because as soon as you do that, all that brake dust that you just lifted off the wheel is going to embed itself right back onto it. Now take your time. When you start rushing this stuff, that's when you start making mistakes. So put a little bit of time aside to clean this up properly. So once you have the face basically cleaned up, you want to get on the back side, so in here, in the barrel, and remove all the brake dust. Grab your wheel brightener, spray down the inside, and then you want to get a brush that you can get behind there and clean everything up. Now you can use either a brush like this, this is an easy detail brush, I'll put a link in the description for it, or you can use the smaller version of it, the mini that I've got right here. Now this is what I'm going to be using only because this Ferrari has large brake calipers and brake rotors behind here, so there's not a lot of clearance. So get it wet, spray your cleaner on it, and just agitate all the brake that's behind it. If you're working with an exceptionally dirty wheel, you might have to repeat this process a couple times. So agitate the barrel with the wheel brightener in your brush, rinse it down with water, and then do it again until there's no brake dust left on the wheel. Now when it comes to the brake caliper, you're not going to have as much room as you would uh, only because, well, the caliper's in the way. So spray it down with the wheel brightener, grab a paintbrush like this, and just hit the little areas back here that have brake dust on it. Now for the, uh, for the rim, where the brake caliper is in the way, so back here, you're going to have to actually roll the car forward so you can clean behind there, do this exact same step, and then wash it down and the entire wheel is going to be clean. Now don't forget to clean up the little lug nut area, so grab your little makeup brush, spray down this area and your brush, and just come in here and agitate all that brake dust. Just like that. Repeat these exact same steps for all four of your wheels, dry them up, and I'm going to show you guys what to do after that. 
If you guys see this little spot right here, you'll know that's slightly discolored from the aluminum on this side. Now, all that this means is that the cleaner that I used agitated with the bare aluminum, and it made it turn out like this. Now, it's not a big deal at all. If you grab some magnesium and aluminum polish, put some on a microfiber towel, and you just agitate it back and forth, you can bring that shine back and restore it just like it's new. Now, if you're working with clear coated aluminum, you're not gonna have to worry about this because you're not gonna really have any kind of chemical reaction happening. But when it's bare aluminum and you use an acid-based wheel cleaner, you're gonna have that kind of reaction. And it just means you have to spend an extra two seconds at polishing it up and bringing that shine back. Now, honestly, if you ask me, when you do this and you, uh, you bring back the shine on a bare aluminum wheel, I think the shine is better and nicer than on a clear coated wheel. But again, that's just my preference. So put some of the polish on a microfiber towel and rub the product into the wheel. When the cream colored polish starts to turn black, you can then buff off any excess and you'll be looking at a near new wheel. Now that we have the wheel looking great, we have to bring this tire and make it shine, make it really stand out. Now what I'm using is Meguiar's Endurance Tire Gel. Now this is a solvent based dressing, not a water based, and this lasts longer than a water based dressing. Now what it's going to do, it's going to give it a nice shine and give it a little bit of contrast between the wheel and the body of the car. So just apply this on the wheel, try not to get it on the rim. It's not a big deal if you do get some on the rim, just wipe it off with a microfiber towel and uh, yeah, just go from there. And as you can see, even just by doing half of the wheel, like look at the difference in the shine from before and after. Now, if you don't want something this shiny, what you can do afterwards is grab a terry cloth and then wipe down all the excess tire gel on here. But the beauty of running with a tire gel is that when you apply it on the vehicle, so once you put it on all the tires and everything, if you don't put too much, you can drive just like this and you're not gonna have any tire sling. Now, when you're using any of those sprays, uh, the spray, uh, what are these, the tire shines, if you go too fast or put too much on there, as soon as you start driving, all that tire gel that's on here is gonna sling off and then you're gonna have lines all over the body panel of the car. Now, if you're working with a Ferrari or something like that, that's a boo-boo, that's a no-no. So just take that extra two seconds and just think about what you're doing. If you can have access to the solvent-based stuff, by all means, definitely use it. Now, if you guys are just as picky as I am, when you park your car and have it like on ground just like this, you can't get access to the little tire down here and the camera isn't actually even picking it up. But there's a little bit down here that you can't really get access to. If you move the car forward half a foot, you can just come around here and dab that little bit of extra tire that you couldn't get um, from before. If you guys have any questions regarding wheel cleaning or anything else for that matter, please post your questions down in the comments below and I'd be happy to help. Again guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.